we will see this uh, lectures uh, calculation based on chemical equations so in other words we uh, say that uh, this is called as uh, stoichiometry so under this uh, heading of stoichiometry this is actually uh, pure stoichiometry so here we will do uh, purely calculation uh, based on mole concept so under this uh, we will do there are four types of uh, this uh, relationships of chemical uh, while solving the chemical equations uh, one is calculation involving mass mass relationships means uh, mass of the one substance uh, product and mass of the reactant is given here next is calculation involving mass volume mass of the reactant volume of the product or reverse calculation involving uh, volume volume relationships it may is also same product or reactant whatever they the relationship between in terms of volume and the fourth one is the calculation involving mole mole and mole mass relationships so here reactant or product whatever is there so they have uh, uh, so we have to solve the uh, this uh, answers questions on basis on basis of their reactant uh, given in moles or product given in moles so this is the basic relationships while solving the problem so we will see each case uh, with one example so that it will be more clear to us <coughs> clear to you so again calculation involving mass mass relationship so here uh, reactant and product what is given so we have to solve each case in mass mass uh, weight mass or weight in terms of gram so here we have uh, i have examples i have given you examples one is how many uh, oxygen are required to burn completely uh, 570 gram of octane so how many ox grams of oxygen are required to burn complete 70 uh, 570 grams of octane so here octane uh, this is a balance equation i have given here of this is the octane this is the oxygen on reaction it will give you co2 plus water so on balancing uh, the stoichiometric coefficients also given here but we have to solve in terms of gram only so if you take uh, balance equation so here we require uh, octane is uh, 2 into 114 grams and oxygen we require 25 into 32 grams okay it is already given here so no problem so here Uh, write the mass of the octane 140 grams so this is so for burning a uh, 200 2 into 140 gram of octane how much oxygen is required we require oxygen 25 into 32 grams okay but we require how much octane this much octane so we have to supply in terms of gram only so uh, 25 into 32 divided by 2 into 2 into 2 into 114 and multiply 570 so we will get 2000 grams so this is 2 kilo so this is in terms of gram you can do in terms of mole also more more relationships so for moles we have to convert first uh, this uh, uh, weight of the octane in terms of moles so moles will be your 570 divided by 114 5 moles so you can uh, uh, solve in terms of moles two moles of octane we require 25 moles of oxygen if you take five moles of octane five moles means octane so we require 25 by 2 into five moles of oxygen so this much oxygen we will be requiring this is the force calculation involving mole mole relationship so uh, now we uh, if you want to write in terms of gram so and just write the uh, weight of the so mole of the oxygen 62.5 and multiply by their molar mass so we will get 2000 gram so in both cases the answer is same okay so this is the weight of writing the solving the stoichiometry problems now here uh, one important uh, terms come that is called as limiting reagent so what is the meaning of limiting a uh, reagent so limiting reagent means a uh, reactant it is a reactant that is entirely consumed when a reaction goes to completion means uh, when the rea chemical reactions uh, completed means ye ye puri tarah se swap finish ho jata the after that nothing left then what will happens whatever the reactant left after the reactions okay so uh, maybe in case of product maybe in case of reactant okay so in which uh, the reactant which is totally consumed Okay, the reactant which is totally consumed that is called limiting reagent. Uh, if the reactant not completely consumed, then that reactant is called as an excess reactant. So we will see through an example to understand these two concepts. Uh, here one more thing is that most of the product is always determined by starting most of the reaction. Of course, so uh, it depends on the limiting reagent. If the limiting reagent is finished, and that much amount of product will be. Form. So let us see uh, through an examples. <coughs> uh, hydrogen plus oxygen gives you water. So here 
हाइड्रोजन इज ऑन बैलेंसिंग इट बिकम्स योर टू टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन टू मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन रिएक्टिंग विद द वन मोल्स ऑफ ऑक्सीजन टू गिव टू मोल्स ऑफ वाटर और टू मॉलिक्यूल रिक्वायरिंग वन मॉलिक्यूल वी गेट टू मोल्स ऑफ बट फॉर लिमिटेड एन विल टेक हेयर मोल्स कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ दिस इज थ्री ग्राम इज गिवन हेयर एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी नाइन ग्राम गिवन हेयर ओके सो नाउ आउट ऑफ दिस थ्री ग्राम ट्वेंटी नाइन ग्राम ट्वेंटी नाइन ग्राम ऑफ ऑक्सीजन which uh, which of the following weight is lesser in quantity which is limiting reagent means which is lesser quantity because here two or more moles is exact quantity because on reaction they will give you completely two mole but here they will not give complete two mole the first convert this uh, weight into moles so it is very easy uh, divide by 3 uh, upon uh, molar mass so we will get about 5 mole and 29 by 32 molar mass of oxygen so we will get here 0.9 मोल सो ऑल दीज आर मोल नाउ चेक इट के विच इज लिमिटेड नाउ कम टू फर्स्ट वन द टू मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन ऑलरेडी गिवन है टू मोल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज रिक्वायर्स मोल 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 ऑक्सीजन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ इन स्टीट ऑफ टू मोल वी हैव बीन गिवन वन पॉइंट फाइव मोल तो फॉर वन पॉइंट फाइव मोल हाउ मच ऑक्सीजन इज रिक्वायर्ड सो ऑन सॉल्विंग वन बाई टू इन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन पॉइंट फाइव सो वील गेट है जीरो पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मोल्स So we can easily compare 0.9 mole, 0.75 mole. We actually require 0.7 mole, 0.75 mole, but we are supplying 0.9 mole. So this is excess. This is uh, lesser. This is exact amount. So only excess of 1.5 will be completely consumed with 0.75 mole of oxygen. Then how much uh, which will be left? Hydrogen will be converted into uh, water, but oxygen will be this much oxygen will be left behind. So 0.9 is excess minus 0.75, so 0.15 moles of oxygen left behind. So oxygen is the limit excess reagent, while hydrogen is the limiting reagent. So this is the one basic way of solving problem. So this type problems often come in the examination, which is the limiting reagent. So it is very important to understand it. Uh, next is calculation involving mass volume relationships so let us take one example to understand mass volume so calculate the volume of co2 at ntp evolved by strong heating of 20 g of calcium carbonate so first you write the equations calcium carbonate on heating calcium oxide and balance it it is already balanced so there is no need of balancing Uh, so write the uh, in balance terms uh, moles and uh, weight relationships the so mole is one mole is calcium carbonate oxygen is one mole in terms of gram 100 gram this will give you molar mass 44 gram or in terms of molar volume 22.4 liters now we have to solve molar uh, mass and volume the so mass is there volume is there we can take for you can take 44 gram also no problem but ultimately we have to convert to volume also by dividing through molar mass <coughs> So 100 gram of calcium carbonate will give you 22.4 liter of oxygen carbon dioxide. Now we have been given 20 gram of calcium carbonate. So if you take 20 gram of calcium carbonate, it will give you 22.4 liter divided by 100 into multiplied by 20. So you will get your 4.4 liter of oxygen. So this is the mass volume relation. See. Now third concept is uh, calculation involving uh, volume volume relation. See. So again, it is based on two laws. In volume, only we have two laws. We know that one is called Avogadro law, and second is called Gay-Lussac law. And it is in terms of molecules. This was in terms of uh, moles. In this was in terms of volume, so in terms of mass. If you remember previously. So let's take one example. Uh, this is a one equation, balanced equation. Two NO nitric oxide plus oxygen. It will give you two nitrogen dioxide. So this is your two mole. This is your one mole, and this is your two mole. In terms of volume, if you want to write, so two into twenty-two point four moles, twenty-two point twenty-two point four liter, two into twenty-two point four liter. So this is according to Avogadro law. What does Avogadro law say? That if you remember, so under similar temperature and pressure, equal moles of the gas occupy equal volume. Means moles is proportional to their volume. So if their uh, moles are whatever moles is given, same amount of volume will be there. So whatever moles will take, same amount of volume will be there. Whatever moles will take, same amount of volume will be there. So this is the Avogadro law. Now here, uh, Gay-Lussac law says that two nit same equation, two nitric oxide plus oxygen, it will give you. Two. So this is the equation, but in actual experiment he found that two volume of nitric oxide always react with the one volume of oxygen, and it will give you two volumes of nitrogen under similar condition, temperature, and pressure. So this is a simple ratio. So this is in terms of simple ratio. This is in terms of 
moles or molecules. Okay, so molecules is, is spoken by Avogadro law, volume is spoken by Gay-Lussac law. So this is the condition for uh, volume-volume relationships. So now let us take one example to understand volume relationships. Air contains 20% oxygen by volume. Air contains 20% oxygen by volume. So calculate the theoretical volume of air which will be required for burning 200 meter cube of acetylene gas completely. And all volumes are measured under the same conditions of temperature and pressure. Okay, so here we require 200 meter cube of acetylene. So let us first type the equations. Acetylene uh, with oxygen, it will give you CO2 plus water. We know that any hydrocarbon in presence of oxygen, it always gives CO2 plus water. So write there in terms of volume or in terms of volume, it will be 2 volume, 5 volume, 4 volume, 2 volume. Now uh, divide by 2, 1 volume, 2.5 liter uh, so volume, 2 volume, 1 volume. So 1 volume is nothing, how much 200 meter cube they have given here. Okay, one volume is 200 uh, uh, meter cube is given. Uh, for 200 meter cube, how much it will require? So for one volume, 2.5 volume. So for 200 volume, it will be to uh, 500 meter cubes. Okay, so if on solving, we will get this much answer. Now, <coughs> 500 meter cube oxygen is required for complete combustion of 200 meter cube acetylene. Okay, so here. Uh, so if you, if you double the volume, you will get double the volume. So for uh, this much volume, we require how much? 500 meter cube. This is the condition given over here in terms of volume volume. Okay. Now, uh, we require air. So air is how much? 20% air contains 20% oxygen. If you take 100 uh, volume of oxygen, we get 20 volume of oxygen by volume. 100 volume of oxygen give 20. 100 volume of air will give 20 volume of oxygen. So again, we require uh, for 500 uh, volume of oxygen, we require so, uh, 500 meter cube of oxygen, we require 200 meter cube of acetylene. This is oxygen. So 20 uh, meter cube of oxygen, we present in 100 uh, meter cube of air. So for 500 meter cube of oxygen, uh, volume of oxygen, we require how much air? So 100 by 20 into 500. So it is 2500 meter cube of air. So this much oxygen required to uh, so burn uh, 200 meter cube of acetylene completely. Okay. So this is the volume volume relationships. So now next we will see a calculation based on mole mole and mass mass relation mole mass relationships. So we will understood through an example so calcium carbonate uh, on reaction to give you uh, with SCL it will give you calcium chloride water and carbon dioxide. So what mass of uh, carbon dioxide calcium carbonate is required to completely with 25 ml of uh, 0.75 molar tip SCL. Okay. So let us write first uh, this uh, a balanced equation of this above uh, equation. So calcium carbonate uh, SCL, it will give you calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. So uh, the, uh, balancing, so after balancing, we will get here one mole of calcium carbonate and two moles of SCL. But in SCL, uh, it is given what is the mole of SCL. So SCL is uh, 25 ml volume and 0.75 ml is concentration. So if you multiply these two per, uh, quantity, the two terms we will get here 18.75 millimole. Why millimole? Because volume is given in ml. So this will be your millimole. Now uh, come to the uh, questions. Uh, two mole of SCL, we require one mole of calcium carbonate. Two mole of uh, SCL, this is the standard. It is given here. So it is given. Now if you take 18.75 millimole. Now instead of mole, if you take 18.75 millimole, so we will get the result millimole. So 1 by 2 into 8.75, so it will be 9.375 millimoles of calcium carbonate. So now we require mass, this is the mole mole lesson, we are cal uh, calculating mole mole lessons. Uh, previously we have seen it, first examples, uh, first case, and there was also mole mole relationship. the same way. Uh, if you want to turn to gram also, the first you write the moles, mass of the calcium carbonate will be mole into molar mass. So this is the mole, the mole into 10 power minus 3 will be millimole, this is total mole will be there. So to remove the millimoles, uh, multiplied by 10 power minus 3 and again uh, write uh, multiply this whole quantity into 100. So this is the molar mass. So on multiplying molar mass, we will get here 0 0.9375 grams. So this is the weight of the calcium carbonate. Okay. Uh, so which can react with the that much amount of acids. Now next is our uh, theoretical yield, actual yield and percentage yield. So in this we will see uh, what are these things. So in theoretical yield, so it is the 
quantity of product produced by the balanced equation. So what is theoretically? It is the quantity of the product. Mind it. Please pay attention. Uh, quantity of product produced in the by the balanced equation when whole of the limiting reagent has reacted. So when whole limiting reagent reacted, then whatever the quantity of product is uh, produced, that is called. Uh, so th uh, theoretical yield. So theoretical yield is the maximum optimal yield. So th by theory, it is the yield will be maximum, the highest. What is actual yield? Uh, so amount of product actually obtained in a reaction. So actually, whatever the we get the during the reaction is called as the actual yield. So definitely, uh, actual yield will be always lesser than the theoretical yield. And now, question is why this actually always lesser? Because due to the some size reactions are not possible. To recover all the reaction product from the reaction method. Some of the things has been uh, made during the reaction that some product cannot go complete reactions or due to some side reactions occurred uh, through which we cannot get the uh, uh, theoretical yield completely. So we will get we are we are getting only actual yield. So let us take one example to understand it. So first uh, there is a formula uh, percentage yield. Percentage yield is actually uh, just. Uh, I have to see here. Uh -huh, yes. So percentage yield is uh, this is the formula actual yield by theoretical yield into hundred. So this actually describes the proportion of the actual yield. So this is the exact proportion of the yield. This is the actual formula to solve the problem. So we have one uh, case example also. Uh, Twenty two hundred forty five. A gram of potassium chloride decomposes to give 48 gram of oxygen. So, what is the percentage yield of reactions? And predict the side reaction if possible. If the yield is uh, lesser than the theoretical yield, definitely some side reaction is there. So, what will be side reactions? So, this is the uh, like the first uh, equations. Uh, two. Uh, this is the potassium chloride on heating. So, this will give you uh, KCl plus oxygen. Decomposition. Now balance it. So on balancing, uh, if you take two mole, this will give you three moles of oxygen. Three moles is nothing, but the total is that 96 gram. Okay. But question they have given 244 5 gram of KCl3 is giving how much? 48 gram. So 48 gram is the your uh, actual yield, and here they are giving how much? 96 gram. Okay. So weight of the potassium chloride has how much? So weight of the potassium potassium chloride for pure chloride is how much? 245 gram. Okay, but yield is again lesser. So what is the percentage yield? Percentage yield is 48 is given. This is the actual yield, and 96 is the your theoretical yield. Okay. So on solving, we'll get a 50 percent. So maybe some side reaction occurs. So what side reaction occurs? So actually side reaction occurs is this one. Uh, four uh, KCl3 is converted to KCl4. Uh, potassium uh, perchlorate plus KCl. So this is your side reaction which is found in the KCl3 while decomposition to oxygen. So this is the example of percentage yield.